This is a Fisher Baby Bear. I favor these stoves for multiple reasons. They're rugged, they require very little maintenance, they have a 30 inch deep firebox with an end loading door, and you can put large chunks of wood in them and easily achieve an overnight burn. I've done a couple of mods on this stove with the intent of raising the temperature in the firebox to make it burn a little bit cleaner and hopefully a little longer. The first is super simple. You just cover the top of the stove with fire brick. The fire bricks also seem to retain the heat a bit longer after the stove goes out. The second mod was a little more involved, adding a preheated air intake tube system. This diagram, the red lines show exactly where it goes from a hole in the front of the stove, back, up along the back of the stove, back forward, it tees and it vents right there. I started the system by drilling a one inch hole just below the fire door and in line with the seams of the bricks inside. The air enters cold here, goes back through the pipe system in the firebox is heated and again vented into the combustion chamber. This shot shows the pipe as it lays in the floor just inside the door. Notice how the bricks have been cut and the pipe is laying down in between the bricks. This allows for a very easy cleaning. This rather indistinct shot shows the pipe running back along the floor of the stove. See where the ashes have been brushed aside? There a 90 degree angle turns it up towards the top of the stove and two 90 degree angles near the top of the shot were added to offset the pipe enough to clear the exhaust flue above it. This will be seen again in the next frame. Here again you see the offset. I could have avoided this by using a shorter base pipe, but I wanted to preserve the full length of my firebox. Adding the offset also allowed me to run the upward pipe in front of the exhaust flue so the incoming air could pick up a little more heat. I've kept it slightly to one side to allow for easier cleaning of the flue. Finally, please note the U-bolt just below the offset. That U-bolt and the porthole by the door are all that was needed to keep the pipe system located. This is a rough model of what I can't get a shot of up inside this stove. The uh, cross shown would actually be a T and the two side pipes that are capped extend out to within an inch of the stove sides. There are 3 16 holes drilled at a 45 degree angle firing down into the combustion chamber. Uh, everything was assembled by firmly threading it together. Uh, by hand and actually I started at this point and worked my way back towards the front of the stove. There is no way to witness a secondary burn on this particular stove but I know it is working well. My overnight burn is both steadier and a bit longer. There is much less ass remaining at the end of the burn and my flue seems to be staying cleaner. Not a bad return for $30 worth of pipe and a few hours work. Oh, and the copper coil showing in the previous videos, a shameless plug for my water heater system. More can be learned at convectioncoil.com or by looking for a YouTube video called How to Get Free Hot Water from Your Wood Stove. Ciao!